This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehra's welcome to another solution tutorial of soil rows. Today we will going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So in first of all, I will start drawing from the right plane. In the right plane, I will draw this portion first. For drawing this portion, we can see we have to draw a line and this line has a dimension of 150 unit. Then we will draw a vertical line here. And this vertical line has a dimension of 45 unit then i will offset it to 10 unit and here we can see it has offset of 10 unit here and then i will uh, extrude was it to from the mid plane is 82 unit okay let's draw this portion so i am selecting the right plane now sketch now normal to it after select the line tool and from the line tool draw a horizontal line draw a horizontal line of 150 unit okay then again select the line tool and from that draw a vertical line and this vertical line has a dimension of 45 unit after that select the offset entities and select this line and offset to 10 unit 10 unit select the by uh, select reverse now select cap int now select line now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now stood boss now stood boss it to 82 unit and it for 82 unit from the mid plane now press ok so this portion has been done after that let's go back to our next portion in our next portion we can see we have two similar drawing one is here and another is here and in this two similar drawing uh, we can see that uh, first of all from this point we have a vertical line hook vertical line and this vertical line has a distance of 75 unit minus 45 unit then i will draw a horizontal line here and then i will draw another reverse vertical line and this is the reverse vertical line uh, from this point to this point the distance is 40 unit then we can see uh, we have we will draw from this point i will draw another vertical line and this vertical line has a distance from this lower portion is 25 unit then i will close this two line after that i will draw a circular profile here and this circular profile has a dimension of 21 radius okay then we can see we have a extra cut circle here and this extra cut circle has a dimension of uh, has a dimension of 10 diameter and we can see it has a distance of 7.5 unit from here and 15 unit from the other side again we can see we have another extra cut circle here and this extra cut circle has a dimension of 16 unit okay then we can see we have a fillet portion in this upper side and this two fillet portion has a radius of 15 unit then we can see it uh, it has a extra boss of 10 unit so for drawing this sketch okay for drawing this sketch i uh, from from the right plane from the light plane i will take a offset plane of 10 unit from this side okay so so let's do this portion so i am selecting the right plane here and from that i will take a reference plane and this reference reference plane has a distance of 10 unit okay now press ok now select this plane now right click on it now sketch now normal to it now select uh, select a line tool and draw a line and this line has a distance of uh, we can see it has a distance of 75 unit minus 45 unit okay then i will draw a horizontal line because we need to draw a semicircle it will be equal to the semicircle the semicircle is 21 unit so this dimension will be 21 unit of radius so the total diameter will be 21 unit multiplied by 2 okay then i'll draw another vertical line and now select this my dimension tool and from this point to this line distance the distance is 40 unit okay the distance distance is 40 unit now again select the line tool and draw a line here and this line uh, this vertical line we can see it has a dimension of 25 unit from the bottom so it will be 25 unit minus the previous stood boss distance so it will be 15 unit okay then i will close this to shape by drawing an incline line after that uh, we need to draw a semicircle here and for that i am using a circle tool uh, for it okay we have drawn the semicircle here 
now we can see we have to select the trim option and trimming the unnecessary line that we don't need okay all the unnecessary line has been trimmed now press ok now select the circle tool and draw a circle here and this circle tool has a dimension of uh, 16 diameter okay this circle portion has been done then we can see we have another uh, stroke cycle in here and this stroke cycle has a dimension of 10 diameter now select the smart dimension tool and this circle to this bottom distance this is 7.5 unit so dimension it to 7.5 unit now select the circle again and from the circle to this vertical line the distance is 15 unit dimension it to 15 unit now we can see we have a fillet here in this portion so the fillet for doing the fillet i'm selecting the sketch fillet option and from here select the radius of 15 unit and now select this portion now press ok so this portion has been done also now select now you need to close the shape for closing shape you can draw line manually like this way or you can select each line by control clicking so i'm selecting this three line now select the convert entities okay the line has been created now isometric it for a better view now go to features now is to boss now is to boss it to 10 unit now is to bossing it to 10 unit now press ok so this portion has been done now you can hide this plane okay so after this portion has been done and uh, we, we need to draw same same sketch in the other side so i am going to mirror it for that i am going to mirror it from the right right plane and now select the mirror and now the mirror face the plane is right plane selected automatically now features to be mirror what we need to mirror from the tree i am selecting the boss extrude 2 we want to mirror now press ok so the boss extrude 2 has been mirrored now let's go back to our sketch uh, in our sketch we can see we have two extrude cycle one is here and another is here and these two extrude cycle has a dimension of 11 diameter and here you can see it has written as 4 which means because it is a symmetrical line so we are assuming we have another extrude cycle here and another extrude cycle here that's why this 4 number is used okay now we can see uh, this extrude cycle uh, in here it has a distance of 30 unit from this portion to this portion okay and from this extrude cycle to this extrude cycle the distance is 60 unit and they have a distance from here to here is 10.5 unit and after drawing this two extrude cycle i will mirror this extrude cycle to this other portion also okay let's go back to our sketch so i'm selecting this upper face now sketch now normal tweet after that select a circle and place a circle here and draw a circle of 11 uh, draw a circle of 11 diameter okay now select again select circle and draw a circle of 11 diameter now select the smart dimension tool and from this smart dimension select this circle and select this horizontal line and from this horizontal line the distance is 30 unit okay and again select this circle and select this other circle and this two circle has a distance of 60 unit from each other so dimension to 60 unit and again select this circle and from this vertical uh, line the distance is 10.5 unit okay this portion has been done again uh, for this circle the vertical distance is also 10.5 unit okay this two portion has been done now for the other side uh, you can you can mirror now or you can mirror later i am for mirroring now you can use the center line for mirroring and for mirroring later after the extra cut you can use the uh, right plane for mirroring okay i have drawn this this vertical line for our mirror reference so i am selecting the mirror entities and entities to mirror what we want to mirror i want to mirror this circle and this circle and mirror about i want to mirror about this center line now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to through all both now press ok so these two is to cut has been done successfully now is the main ticket now go let's go back to our screen in our case we have done almost done all the drawing but we can see in here we have fillet here and the fillet dimension i'm not seeing here and we have some fillet here and there as here we can see it has saying the r3 so we're assuming that it will be fillet of r3 radius okay let's see it or you can uh, take a fillet as you want as yeah uh, Okay, selecting the fillet option here and from the fillet option dimension it to 3 unit 
and now select this line and rotate select this portion and this portion and for this portion select this or this part and that part also now select the plate okay now isometric it for a better view so this fillet portion is looking quite bigger or you can reduce it as you want by matching this sketch uh, okay so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different